What's a man to do if he can't look to his yar for help? Look to himself. And to the gods that he worships. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Oh, Vladimir, I appreciate your traveling with me to Dawnstar. It's good to give uh, Gore and Sherry a break. And, uh, I mean, you're more than a capable follower. Wait, I know you. Boy. Yeah, just keep going. I really admire the fact that you're a Nord and a sorcerer. I mean, how many Nords are comfortable enough Either. with themselves? to use magic openly and powerfully as you do it's good to have you all right let's go ahead and finish up uh some things here in dawnstar and uh go to the museum i thought would be a nice uh chance to do something not combat wise for a change but first let's stop in here in the mortar and pestle Wanted to check to make sure that the, the nightmares have stopped for these people. Good morning. The mortar and pestle has cures for every illness, from ataxia to whitbane. So I take it that the bad dreams have stopped. Well, can you tell me, how did you pick up the herb trade? My husband. We used to go out into the wilds and collect ingredients together. He used to call me his pretty juniper. It's quite romantic, if you're an alchemist. Frost took the old fool a few seasons back while he was looking for the ring of pure mixtures. I found the ring's resting place after he died, but I'm far too old to go exploring some cave now. I'm not gonna argue with you, but I could find that ring for you. Well, aren't you sweet? I'd be happy to give you some alchemy training in exchange for the ring, if you bring it oh, to me. Well, okay, but I'm not an alchemist. I just want to be clear about that. All right, then. Good day. If you find that ring, bring it here. All right, I will. All right, Vladimir, let's keep going. You know, my father was a blacksmith, and he died when I was very young, when a vampire horde attacked our village. They killed the entire village, and my mother, and my father. The town of Halan, and my father was a blacksmith. I would probably be a blacksmith now, if not for that tragic, intervention of those vampires. And that's why I do what I do today. I've prepared myself to slay every vampire that I can. And I appreciate your assistance with that. By the way, that is quite a nice outfit you've got on. I think the museum is well, probably this place here with all the flags and banners. This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening with you. Excuse me? I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. What? <laughs> okay. Who is Silas? And I received an invitation to the museum. Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the Mythic Dawn, the Mythic cult that almost Dawn. destroyed Tamriel. Wow. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, 
And this museum to the mythic dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Um, I think I remember hearing about the mythic dawn when I was younger. But can you tell me, refresh my memory? Who are they? Not a student of history, I see. No, not really. It's for the best. Didn't They're a group attention. that should be forgotten. The only thing you need to know is that they almost destroyed the world. What? And they the were entire world? A long time ago. And, like, who stopped them? That's all you know? All right, well, good day then. That and museum here comes is my oh. first visit. Whoa! The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Uh, yeah. But could you tell me what that argument was about first? Never mind that. Never Medina mind. Medina is a good woman, but I have my own reasons for opening this museum, and I'm not changing my mind. I have a collection of artifacts from the group that toppled an empire. Their importance to history cannot be forgotten. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Uh, all right. Let's talk inside. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. <laughs> Carrots, bread, The money. tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. Skyrim the cult's Beast greatest theory. accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty. Oh, the and Mythic the Dawn gloves. Oh, a doll. It's a doll. Okay. It's funny how it's only a few feet away from the bed. Oh. Upon seeing the relics and banners of the mythic dawn, I hear a voice of that dark master in the back of my head. Follow the Daedric Prince Merhun's Dagon. Merhun's Dagon is the prince of destruction, change and ambition, and tester of dark elves. A follower must suffer mental torment while praying to gain extra favor. The tenants slay people who stand in your way, defile the shrines of my, of my enemies. Those skilled in destruction are most deserving of Merun's Dagon's favor. I reject. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn's secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Merun's Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. Hmm. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Some Dagon nice amulets himself. in there. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. You seem to be under the false impression that I'm a worshiper of Merun's Dagon. So you're telling me the yarn in that robe, the reason that it's that, that blood color is because it was dipped and dyed in blood. Interesting. What else? Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon. Really? I'm not really seeing an oblivion gate, Dawn. but... How do I really know what one looks like anyway? Okay. So, are we done here? Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? 
I want to talk about the Mythic Dawn. They were worshippers of Mehrunes Dagon, the Daedric like Lord you. of Destruction and Change. Yeah. The Mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult I've gathered in my museum. All right, so what job that you mentioned outside do you have for me? A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. All right, so, you know, this is just a wild guess, you know, off the top of my head, that you want me to get those fragments. At least two of the owners, Gunzel and Draskua, are dangerous marauders, and the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. All right, well, I'll do it, but you better be willing to pay me for my efforts. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly that pay you for getting yes. the pieces any okay. way you can. All right. No questions asked. Okay, good. Thank you. Good luck finding the fragments. Right. Vladimir, are you up for this? Should be easy, just a simple retrieval mission. All right, come on, let's we'll go. Start off here in Morthal, since we've the mill already been here and slightly That's familiar with some That's of the all. citizens. Stand, Jorgen. I just want to be left alone to do my job and to enjoy what little free time I have when I have it. All right, well, I'm looking for pieces of Merun's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. I think you do. Silas Vesuvius says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Don. Yeah. Guess they were true. They are. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. You won't miss it. Look deeply into my eyes. I don't care. But my ancestors what? do. You can't have it. What? I've been working on my charm and persuasion. I can't believe it. All right, well, let's try it this way. Give me the hill or things will get ugly. Easy. Thank you. Here, these are the keys. The hilt is in a chest in my house. Just don't hurt anyone. Well, you seemed upset about something. The world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. What isn't the Jarl dealing with? Trust you saw the house that burned down. Yes. Peculiar bit of business. We've already place. solved that business. And that's on top of noises from the marsh in the night. Oh, Tales well. of monsters. Now this wizard in our mist. What's a man to do if he can't look to his Jarl for help? Look to himself and to the gods that he worships. Mm-hmm. All right. The mill is my responsibility. And that's what I care about. That's Glad all. all. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's go and get this uh, piece. It's like I really don't like using intimidation, but hey, it does work. All right, so here's the hilt. And I'm gonna take the uh, these septums because he was a bit rude. Hopefully he won't miss them. Come on. Let's go to our next stop. Uh-oh. How a true Nord fights. Oh! 
Look out! I didn't see him. Get him! Get him! There you go. Thank you. He was just waiting for me to come through the door. Looking for us. Can hear them. Oh! Prepared to die. Only if you are. Only if you are. Vladimir, what? You know what? Now you're gonna attack him. Thank you. Now, what about this other one? Where is she? Look at her. Get her. Oh boy, there's somebody else too. Enchantments are holding up quite well. Look at, look at that. Look at the power that Vladimir has. Look out for the rocks. Vladimir. Oh my goodness, he's down already. And he's back up. Up here too. <clears throat> Vladimir. Oh, he fell on a rock. Oh, so did he. Man, those rocks are deadly. What is this? Uh, is this your magic? him to be tougher. mean have it in a jaw like that okay you ready
Come on. Come on out here. Helping me out here. That breathing is getting on my nerves. She's carrying a Daedra heart and way of beast blood. Yeah, if you want to become a vampire, Vladimir, I've got some blood for you. Look here. Oh! something fantastic that I might need or want or might want to have a uh -oh, trap game at dinner all right alchemy increase Looks like we got some traps up here.
here's another one of these uh unusual gems and here's the dead crone rock key wonder what that opens and let's see what this glowing etching is here Should have known better, I can't read it. There's a chest here, is this what we need? Take these Vala stones. Septum. So what is this? Ken Reeve Sword Storm. Concentrate to summon bound swords that deal six physical damage per second and apply bound weapon perks in a 20 foot area around you. You gain another sword every two seconds up to six. Well, I can sell that. So, is this my divine armor that's glowing like this? Must be my lantern wasn't even on. All right, here it is, the pommel stone. We've been running back and forth all day trying to get all right, so we need to get the blade shards now. All right, I think I'm ready to use my... Oh, of course, it's missing. Seriously. Oh, here it is, Wolf Cleaver. Ready. Who's here? Who wants some of this? Wow. Anybody else? Like we got everything. Come on in here. Somebody. Oh, now, hello. A surprise. Oh, he doesn't even see me. Another day, another victory. Nope, already dead. Amazing right there. I mean, you're just so powerful. Oh, look at this Elder Scrolls Plate Arena. I want to see what this sword is. Oh, it's a steel rape rapier.
Hello. Looking for the blade? You want the first. Uh, I think the other Nords would disagree with you. So this is you. Wow. Oh, Elven Claws. Look at these. circlet of night eye you know, I think I want to try that on and see if it works necklace of alchemy created potions of 15% more powerful hmm it does sort of work Thing I don't like the the blurriness around the edges of my vision. Now I don't really need it in here. It's enough light. Amongst the tales in this book is the forbidden legend of the wise and just arch and just archmage Galdur, whose mysterious murder in the dawning days of the first era was struck from the rolls of history. Well, I suppose I should investigate. Really surprised they didn't put some orcs down here to guard guard the treasure. Okay, I see lots of traps.
Oh, 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 I fell. How, how did that happen? This, this tripwire was broken. Silas, we are back with all three pieces of Maroon's razor. What is it? Do you have one of the razor fragments? I have them all. All at once? You're efficient. I like that. Here's your reward. Thank you. Finally, all the pieces of Maroon's razor are in my hands. It's time I let you in on something. There's a fourth piece, that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor. And there's more. I know how to put all the pieces together. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and we? contact the Lord of Change directly. Hmm. Um, that sounds like a terrible idea. You don't want to be a part of history? No, Fine. no I don't. I'll be at the shrine if you change your mind. Well, well good luck to you. I think we need to go to the shrine and get Merun's razor before it falls into the wrong hands. All right, here it is, the shrine. Oh, you're here. You beat I'll us place here. The pieces on the altar, and Dagon should speak to us. Maroon's Dagon, the Lord of Change. We have brought your razor to you. Thank you. Please, bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. Why don't you give it a try? Me? Just put your hands on the altar. Um, hold on a minute. Where? I'm not doing this without Vladimir being here. Thank you. You. Oh, what? Mortal. You are worthy of speaking to. Those are a lot you of earrings. You have the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But. Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. Hmm. Did you hear that, Silas? You've served your purpose. I think you're up to no good anyway. I'll do it, Lord Dagon. Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion, or I will crush you. I don't take lightly the threats, though. Wait, wait! Don't kill me! There's another way. I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. You get a generous amount of gold, I get to complete my collection, and nobody has to die. Nope. Fine. No deal. I'm not dying without a fight. Okay. Here we go. Wouldn't have it any other way. We're 
Where'd that dog come from? Isn't there a dog or wolf up here? Oh, a mythic dawn amulet. That's what I saw in the display case. Too bad it doesn't have any enchantments, though. on display even though uh, Orion doesn't want them. Ring of Slaughter. Necklace. Leave the ring. All right then. I am pleased, mortal. I will give you my razor. Use it to wreak havoc on Tamriel. Thank you. You have been a worthy tool. Fill the world with destruction in my name. Place your hands on my altar one last time, and you will witness the power of Merun's Dagon for yourself. Follow you? No. We've already been through this. Before you go, mortal, one final challenge. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get the other one. Do your ass powers work on it? Yes. So we got some Daedra hearts out of this. Let's see what's inside the shrine. it. We got them all. Wow, you are powerful. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do with all these Daedra hearts. Oh, we need that. Void Bolt sends a bolt of dark energy at the target, causing damage equal to 15% of the caster's current health. Restores health equal to 50% of that damage to the caster after 3 seconds. Helmet of Victory. 15% less damage from enemy attacks the further their health falls below 50. How am I doing on capacity? Elven Hatchet. Firebolt. Take the petty soul gem. Oh, is this more gold over here? What's this? Oh, moonstone. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Did we look in here yet? Circlet of alchemy. Vala stones. Oh, look at the 
value of that Vardenfeld shield and Wilkin stones. Oh, look at this. A Daedric Lord Curus. I probably can't carry that, can I? Nope. I know you're probably gonna put this on, but hey. What do you need, Thane? I need to trade some things with you. Do you need something from me, Thane? Or can I carry something for you? Y you know, you are the kindest man I know. Let's go. Oh, good. You didn't put it on. All right. What else do we have here? Staff of Banishing. Catalog of Armor Enchantments. Okay. Helmet of the Dragon, 8% chance to reduce the cooldown of your shouts. Is this another ebony ingot? Okay. Mm, some ice cream. Thing. Wait, what's this over here? A glowing chest. Why does it say malice? What is malice? Wow. That looks dangerous. Put that on display then. Alright, we got a lot of stuff for the Dragonborn Gallery. I thank you, as always, for your help. It's really good having you and having that magic to back us up. All right, we are done. Let's head on back to the Dragonborn Gallery and then home. <laughs>